Question two, so state the range of this function. So that's like the possible answers that we could get. Well, what we should recognize is that this is going to be a sad curve, okay? Because it's a, uh, it's a negative in front of the x squared, so I know it's like that. So what I'm really after is I just need to know this point up here, and that's going to be 0, 7. Okay, because x is zero, that's gonna it's gonna maximize this, all right? So it's really easy to spot. Um, so state the range. How are we actually gonna write that down? All we're gonna do is we're gonna write. We know that this is gonna be less than or equal to seven is what we're interested in. Okay, part B. All right, let's make some sense of this. Well, how do I write this down? Is Think of it like this. Well, I haven't actually written anything different yet, have I? But do it like that. Do that bit there first of all. Let's do f of 1.8. So if we work out what that is, just pop 1.8 into this up here, and then that equals 0.52. And now feed 0.52 into function g. Okay, so just feed that in. So that's putting 0 0.52 into, into this part here, all right? Just use your calculator for that bit if you want to. That's fine, all right? And if you do that, it works out to be 39 over 40, or if you really want to write decimal, 0 0.7, uh, 0 0.975. Okay, now trying to find the inverse function, okay, of this, this G. Now, the best way of doing this Really, is to is to write it like y equals. I feel a bit kind of uncomfortable about using like this other letter in here. But all it really is is just helping us kind of. It's just using it as a vehicle to to kind of reverse the process, right? What we're trying to try and get to is x equals. So let's just multiply both sides by five x uh, minus one. So five x minus one equals. 3x, I'm just going to move that up a little bit, and then we're going to multiply this out, so that gives us 5xy minus y equals 3x. I take away 3x, add the y, okay, because I'm trying to get all the x's together, so minus 3x, oops, don't know what I was writing then, equals y. Now, Take x out as a common factor, because remember, you're trying to get it, so you're getting x equals. Um, so that would give me minus 3, and that equals y, because I want to just have one x just written down once. Divide by 5y minus 3, so x equals y over 5y minus 3. Now, to write this down properly, um, this is a bit kind of sort of seems a little bit odd. We're just going to write down our, our inverse function of x. Remember, we just use this y. It's just to, to help us use it as a, kind of, as a vehicle to reverse the process. All right, so it's actually 5x minus 3. And there we go. Job done.